Hi, and welcome back for the second lesson in my series of the guitarist of Sonny Boy Williamson the second, and I'm talking mostly about the playing of Luther Tucker and Robert Lockwood, Robert Jr. Lockwood. First lesson, we worked on the bass rhythms that you hear on these songs, some of them. The purpose of my lessons with this and the Little Walter series that, that I'm also posting is not to teach you how to play any particular songs, but to show you the basic ideas behind the songs and all the different ingredients that went into them and all sorts of different licks and variations that you can play. This next lesson we're going to work with chords and the chords that you hear being played over the bass rhythms in most cases. First type of chord you really need to learn is the ninth chord and then the first position ninth chord and the second position ninth chord. I'm going to show those to you real quick. If you already know these then skip ahead or just sit tight. In the key of C, first example, so I'm going to show you in the key of C. So let me show you C ninth. This is C ninth. I've got my first finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string, my second finger on the seventh fret of the third string, my ring finger on the eighth fret of the fourth string, and my pinky on the eighth fret of the second string. And I'm picking only the middle string. I'm not picking the first or the sixth string. Strings. That's first position. Now, if I want to move that, if I move it up two frets, I've got a D ninth. If I go back to the C and then go down one, two, three, I've got an A ninth. Two more, G ninth. And we're going to use all those different keys. Now, the second position, ninth chord. If I go back here in our C progression, this is the four chord, which would be an F ninth. And the way I'm playing that, if you don't know this one, is my first finger is on the 7th fret of the 4th string. My second finger, first finger, is on the 7th fret of the 4th string. My second finger is on the 8th fret of the 5th string. That's my F, or my root chord, root note. And I'm flattening out my ring finger over the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd strings at the 8th fret. This time I am getting the, the, high, the high E. I'm not playing the low E, though. So first position is a C, ninth. and here's my second position, ninth chord showing you an F ninth. If I move it down or up to, I've got a G ninth. If I go back to my F and I take it the other way, three, I've got a D ninth. Two more, C ninth. And you can play this all over. Come all the way down to the twelfth fret, A ninth. Now, when you listen to Sonny Boy's recordings, you hear a lot of sliding ninth chords. And by sliding ninth chords, I mean something like this. Here's in the key of C. Or. And that is a, a pattern you hear a lot. And all I'm doing is taking the C ninth and sliding up two frets and then sliding back. If I just do it once. So I'm sliding up two, and then going back to my starting position, and picking it. So one, two. A little rhythmic variation. Doing it twice. Then we go to the four. You could do it like this. Back to the one. And then if you're going to the five, which in the C song in the key of C would be the G. Something like that. So sliding ninths. Now some different patterns you can do with those ninths, like I showed you. You can just do one, like one pick, or two, or even three, depending on the tempo of the song and what you're trying to do. So with the, over the four chord, there's one, there's two, I call those three, three slides. Something like that. 
Something like that. Now, in the Sunny Boy tunes, you hear a lot of the one slides. Especially over the four. You hear a lot of that, that kind of thing. Now, some, some variations and some other ideas on the sliding ninth chord. When you go to the five, he's got some different things that he does. So I'm using the key of C as a reference. If you want to hear some good examples of this type, listen to tunes like um, Cross Your Heart and Unseen Eye, which is kind of an odd title, but it's one of the really cool Sonny Boy songs, great guitars on that. And you hear a lot of these ideas. One idea is to slide chromatically with the chord into the five. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Back to the one. So when we're going around the tune, let me just play it in context. Let me play the whole idea, or at least a variation. Usually he's going to throw in a little turnaround or a fill when he gets back to the one. But what I'm doing, to get back to the five, I'm just going here to an A ninth, and then walking back down two frets to the D ninth, or the G ninth rather. So we're in the key of C. Sunny Boy songs is he does something like this. So what I'm doing here on the five chord, which is my D nine or G nine. So my, my root note is on the 11th fret, which is an E flat. What is that? That is a G sharp, G sharp, A flat. So let me do that again. So it's like... said he's got some little whoops something like that that he plays there so when you're playing a, a slow tune especially so let's go to the key of a and actually let's go to G and do the same thing so I might do something like this So that same idea. Back to the one. And so that's another idea with the ninth chord. So instead of playing this, you're going. And then to the one. That way. Sorry if I'm not very sophisticated musically, but that's uh, just another variation. Now something else you hear Sonny Boy guitar players do with uh, with the ninth chord is kind of just go one, skip up one fret at a, at a time, something like this. So I'm going from the, with my second position ninth chord from the D to the C.
little licks and fills, double stops here in just a few minutes or in the next lesson. So that's another way you can use uh, a ninth chord. Okay, let's just, just skip that whole dissatisfied thing and let's get back to the ninth chords. Now with those sliding ninth chords, something else you'll hear the, where you'll hear these used a lot is some of the introductions. And Sonny Boy's got a song called Dissatisfied, which he's playing in the key of A, A sharp, A flat, A flat. And you'll hear an introduction like this. That's a cool way to introduce a song. So there's my it's my five chord, up two and back, then my four chord, then back to my one. That's a, a neat use of the ninth chords. Now let's move on. From the ninth chords, let's go to seventh chords. And in the Sunny Boy stuff, you hear a lot of these three note seventh chords, triads or triads, whatever the music people call them. So I'm playing in the key of G. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Sorry, a little loud there. That kind of thing. And that is a G7. So here's a G7 chord. That's a G7 as well. You hear this a lot in Muddy Waters. This songs, The Little Walter. This is a very common blues lick, but in the Sunny Boy tunes you hear this used a lot of different ways. So I'm going to show you a couple ideas. So the basic pattern, just take a D7 chord, which you play up here in your first position with the first finger on the first fret of the second string, and then you've got your actually second finger on the second fret of the third string, and my ring finger on the second fret of the first string. And you just take that wherever you need to play it, anywhere on, on the fretboard. Now if I'm playing in G, my little rule is you play it two places down, or two frets up, rather, from your bar chord, your first position bar chord. So right there. So that's with my first finger on the sixth fret. And that's where you hear that. You hear it played a lot of different ways. Sometimes I'll do something like this. Where he'll go away from that. But what I'm doing here is I'm switching to a seventh, a different form of the seventh chord. This is your A seventh shape. So if we go back up here to first position, that shape. I've got my first finger barring the second, third, fourth strings, and even the first string at the second fret. And then I'm taking my ring finger and putting it on the third fret first string. Now if I move that up here, that's a C7. Here's my G. That's a C7. This is my second position bar chord. play with one finger, that's a C, so I'm just putting the seventh in there. So what he's doing is, let's go into that chord. That this in a lot of different ways. Now another way you could play is like just move that same shape down a fret. And into the progression. Another way you hear him doing it is on up tempo songs. So let's take a, a song in the key of F and you might hear him do something like this. And 
And usually he's doing it over the one, and I don't hear him really using that lick anywhere else. Now on slower tunes, there's some different variations. So if I'm playing a slower tune, you might use that, or there's a couple tunes, there's one called Trust My Baby, or I've Got a Right to Trust My Baby, or I can't remember, the, Sad to Be Alone, one of those tunes where he does something like this. Something like that, so. It's a lot of vibrato going with his left hand. And he hangs on that, and he moves it down a fret. And then instead of playing... Instead of playing that, he's just trilling, hammering on, pulling off on the fourth fret of the third string. Got my first finger on the third fret of the third string, holding that steady. And then using my second finger, plucking the third string, doing that. So the whole leg. song. So those are a couple of variations. Heard him also do something like this. Kind of as a fill lick. And that is just taking that pattern. When I get up here, it's really my, my bar chord, my, my G, first position G major. But I'm just doing a three string version of it with my first finger barring first and second strings at the third fret, and then my second finger on the fourth fret of the third string. So I'm going. And I'm still picking mostly the third and the first string, which I didn't show you before. So it's the right hand is picking the third to first. Or you can just play all three strings. But whatever, you get a lot of different sounds by adjusting your picking. That's a Robert Johnson type thing you hear, Little Queen of Spades, Old Country Blues Tim, where he's using that. But that's a cool fill lick you could play as you get ready to go from the one to the four in a Sonny Boy type song. So those are some three string seventh chord shapes that you can use and that you hear a lot with the playing of Sonny Boy Williamson. Now if I want to move it, Here's F, here's C, A, you can move that shape all over the place in whatever key that I'm, that I'm playing in. So those are my seventh, my seventh chords that are used a lot as fills and also used a lot uh, kind of as the first guitar part.